Now look at these Christians, they believe in a God who can die. But the true God will never die. Jesus Christ is human being, he can die. Prophet Muhammad is human being, he can die. Okay. But you know, I just Allah Hindi Shamatai. Okay. So Muhammad Poy de Patai, see Jesus Poy de Shapatai, see Abraham Poy de Shapatai, see Moses Poy de Shapatai, you just, you know, you know, Allah Hindi Shapatai. So you know, I just Hindi Namatai Talaga. So you believe in a God who died, then you are very pitiful na kawawa na yung Diyos mo na patay. Kung yung tunay ng Diyos mo, Allah, si Allah hindi siya mamatay. Okay? So that is the one of the identity of the God. The true God will never die, will always be alive, will always be available to help you and to guide you to the straight way. Like the Christians or the Hindus also, they believe in God, uh, Ram or Krishna or different, different Vishnu, and they all died. They all died already, finished in this world. But the true God, Allah, is always alive. So one of the great attributes of Allah, the God Almighty Allah, is Al-Hai. Al-Hai means He is ever-living. He will never die. Now, example, the, the Good Friday, the, and what happened, the Christian, you ask them, Bakit kayo walang trabaho? Bakit kayo nang uh, fasting? Ano sabi nila? Uh, dahil na just na matay. How you can believe in a God who need to die? How you can believe? I, I don't know how to understand. The God who created you, he already died, and you believe his God, it's impossible. Hindi po yan. Impossible na just na matay. So Jesus Christ ang tao, so pwede siya matay. Pwede siya kumakain siya, inum siya, dahil isang tao lang siya. Si Jesus Christ, a human being. Kahit kita mo yung mukha ni Jesus Christ, parang Arabo, parang taga Middle East, okay? So hindi siya ang just talaga. Si Jesus Christ isang tao, propeta, Kaya kumain siya, inum siya, tulog siya, gising siya at mamatay siya.